Hola! In the spirit of doing things in two, here's my third unboxing for this short period. Um, I got two boxes of Scout Troopers. And we know why everybody bought Scout Troopers. This guy! <laughs> so, any good... Oh, well, I'll say this. But majority of the Imperial guys or players would often buy this guy. So I've already bought one box. So these are actually my second and third boxes that I have. Um, one of the reasons because I, I, I find that I like high activation lists and having options is always a good thing. Um, I've been trying to make... Um, what's her name? Iden Versio work, but because we can't get any of the um, special forces yet, ISF, here in Singapore. So I've looked at the best, Nick's best option. I know they're not the best because while they are spec forces, the only issue is that they are squishy. So I'll just show you what I mean. So instead of going through the models first, because I have seen the models in the past and the tokens, I'm going to show you guys the card. What I mean by this is this. They've got white dice for defense, making them horrible. However, they've got pretty good morale. So, if you place them in cover and, you know, if you're good with like maneuvering them around, these guys are not bad because they have low profile. So they can get cover. They're not going to run away very quickly. Yeah, I think it's a win-win. <laughs> <laughs> now, two black, not too bad. Again, not too shabby. It's one, two. So you probably want a unit of this moving up field, dodging here and there, not showing itself, and maybe have some stormtroopers running around, possibly even maybe something bigger threat. Um, then, of course, you've got the scout troopers, basically one of those snipers, eh? This is the sniper talking about, the LT-19X sniper. We've got the Sonic Charge Saboteur. I don't, know, don't really know who uses him. For only two points extra, you've got this guy. <laughs> I don't know. Look, if you guys know something else, I'd hope please let me know. Emergency stim is pretty awesome. Um, Sean used this on Sabine before, allowing her to basically take one extra activation before she cops it, but she didn't really die. Duck and cover. I, I do like this. Um, anything that can actually take suppression and gain extra cover, for example, danger sense, duck and cover is really quite good. Uh, well, only because you gain suppression, so deliberately. HQ uplink, um, yeah, this is all right. But the good thing about this is, although it's one use, you can use this basically out of activation, uh, sorry, uh, outside of the commander range and give that unit of scouts the help that it needs. So there you go. Those are the upgrade cards. That's, of course, the unit cards. Just take a peek at tokens. Tokens fairly straightforward. You've got your separate bombs, two tokens there for your two different units, nothing much. Um, each bag, again, individually packed, fairly straightforward. You've got instructions, truth is, probably won't really need this. Got your bases, that's very important. Then, of course, your other miniatures. There again, soft plastic, resin plastic, sorry, resin plastic, not soft. Um, they're fairly rigid like this gun because it's so short. It's not gonna warp So fairly um, safe. I like this one. He holds that little binoculars goggle thing. So it helps This is sniper. I often worry about this one. So mine's actually fairly okay There you go the rest of them that about concludes it. Um, nothing complicated. I've unboxed this unit before, I think, in the past in the channel, but I thought I'd just do another one only because I picked two more boxes up. I, I do really like this visor. If you look at their visor, they really do remind me of the, or at least the Shaw Troopers does borrow some of that uh, visual cue. And the Shaw Troopers are one of my favorite uh, Empire units. I just kind of wish they were a bit cheaper. If they were in the same range of maybe Stormtroopers, without I guess all those um, abilities that would be fine too hope you guys enjoyed it see ya